driving into Edinburgh and then you are a zoomer. Now arriving into platform, I don't know, it's Edinburgh, it's a terminating LNER service from London's Cross. Oh, it feels good to be at Edinburgh. We've got... A on the 103 from London. So welcome to trains. At Edinburgh, which is situated as a through station for some ScotRail services and a major terminating point for ScotRail and LNER. I'm so happy to finally be here. I've finally reached Scotland. So welcome to Edinburgh Waverley Station. It feels very, very good to be here. So I'm currently standing on, on a, I don't know which platform to be honest. But there's, there's, about, there's about 20, there's 20 platforms here. 20 and shortly about to leave it's going to be 43.35 for a Scott Rail HST service we're pulling XGWR uh, Mark 3 carriages with them being in the GWR colour scheme but no GWR logos on them so also a Scott Rail 170 and a Scott Rail 385 over there so there appears to be a nice little Christmas fair or fun fair something going on up there I wouldn't know and as we find coming in, we find coming in a Scott Rail Class 385, what looks to be another Scott Rail Class 385. I believe the 385s are Scott Rail's new addition to their fleet. So, if they are new then, oh never mind, I think that's a 158. Could be wrong. But 43 or 35 is about ready to go. What is that? Yep, I was right. It's Scott Rail Cast 385 and it's arriving in on uh, this platform, which I believe is platform 11. I believe this is platform 11, guys. Oh no, it's not a 385. It's not a 385, it's a 334. Three, 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 four. 334 or 27 to arriving in with a terminating service. Ray and Habler. I don't know how to pronounce it. Adam taught me. Ray and Habler, I think he pronounced it. As far as I'm aware. Oh, 334 27 334-030 something. I'm waiting for this HST to go if it is going. But I believe it's right again ready to go. 33427 to 334, I believe, 037. We're we'll terminating Scott Rail service. Now, what's this HST doing and isn't going to budge? We shall have to see, won't we? There's also a Scott Rail 170 on the opposite platform next to it. Scott Rail is operated by Abellio. Is it now? Well, not for long because their franchise is being stripped in 2022. And not 2025. It was planned to be stripped in 2025, but it's been stripped earlier now. Abellio are losing it in 2022, so let's hope those beautiful HSTs don't go anywhere. Because if they do, I will be very upset. Because so far, well, at the moment, there's only a few operators left with the HSTs. Cross country, but automatic doors. Scott Rail with Slam and Automatic, but soon to be just Automatic. GWR soon to be just Automatic. And EMR with Slam Doors, but EMR are withdrawing theirs in about two years' time. Where's the interior of a 334? I'm not going to go in. I'll probably get charged. I'm not booked on that service, am I? My, tra my next train isn't until about sometime this evening. And that's my train back home to Newcastle. It's really wet and rainy. Not a very good impression to come into Newcastle. 43 or 35 at the front, 43 179 at the rear. Is it off? Is it off anytime soon? God knows. Well, there's Scott Rail 170 over there. I don't think that's going anywhere. Oh, I think he's off. This has got GWR liveried carriages, but they are XGWR. And it's also got slam doors as well, which is something I like to see. And off it goes, 4 or 35. 
Thank you. Thanks, XDWR coaches. Great Western Railway. And the seats looks to be first Great Western. 43 or 34 to so, sorry, 43 or 35. 43 or 35 to 43, 179 to. I don't know, to be honest. Thanks to that driver for giving me a uh, nice little toot on his way out. It's quite loud, actually. And here we have a uh, Scott Rail 170 414. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch platform lens in a minute. I might go back down there because my dad will be wondering where I am because my dad's in Costa at the moment. It's all good though, don't worry. And a nice uh, ticket inspector let me come through to do a bit of train spotting, which is very nice. That's basically all you've got to do at train stations. If you want to do train spotting and the gates are shut, just ask them if you are allowed to go through and do train spotting. And eight times out of ten, they'll say yes. Well, in my experience, they always say yes. 170, 414, I'm going to get a picture of that beauty. I must admit, the Scott Rail livery is nice. I must admit that. Oh, I'm so glad I got to see that Scott Rail HST out. I, don't, I mean, Scott Rail don't have many. And they don't always operate to Edinburgh, to be honest. But at least I managed to get a Scott Rail HST. I, that was, he were going, I think, Stirling, Inverness, Aberdeen... Or, or Dundee or somewhere. It was Dundee, Stirling, Aberdeen or Inverness. Fortunately, I wasn't able to grab the destination because I wasn't paying much attention to the boards, to be honest. Oh, and behind this 170 is the 158. Liverpool Lime Street. I didn't know Scott Rail do services to Liverpool. Huh. Well, there's a um, 334 over there. And... Couple to this one, couple to 174.14 is 158.740. Good job it's not 770, eh, Adam? 158.770 is Adam's uh, stalker. Ooh, I'm loving this. Hello, hello, we're with Vanty West Coast. Your new operator taking over from Virgin Trains on the 8th of December. Oh, Virgin operator here then, did it? Sorry, not Virgin, Avanti. We'll make your journey greener with 60% lower carbon emissions by 2026. Well, that's pleasant to hear. Now, looks, um, um, I was meant to be going back down there now. But I've changed my mind and I've decided to come up here because I can see a train arriving in. I have no clue what it is, but I need to get it, you see. Because this is a train's at, not a tour of Edinburgh. It's a train's at video, not a tour of Edinburgh. And by the looks of it, that looks like an Avanti West Coast terminating service or could be going to Glasgow, I don't know. Hang on. That's either a 390 or an 800. Well, I didn't know Avanti, I didn't know Avanti West Coast served here, but it's clearly they do. So why would you have posters about them on the station? Exactly. And that looks like an 800, or if I'm, oh, I could be wrong, and it could be a 390. Who knows? All right. Uh, I'm pretty. Sh I'm 60% sure now. 70 now. 80% sure that that's an eight, that's an Azuma now, not a 390. I can sort of see the colour. Oh, dearie me! I'm gonna stay in the shelter because it's raining. Looks like there's some kids having fun on the rides up there. I'm staying in the shelter because it's, it's freezing and it's starting to rain. No, thank you. I don't want to be out of the shelter when it's pouring down with rain. Well, not pouring down, but yeah. I think you pronounce that Rail Nahaba. Rail Nahalba. Rail Nahalba. Adam was teaching me how to pronounce it because I, I was telling them that I was going to Edinburgh and he was trying to teach us how to pronounce it. I think it's Rail. Rail Nahalaba. Oh. I could be wrong. Don't judge me, Scottish people. I'm not Scottish. Don't judge me. 
I'm not judging you Scottish people either. I can't say Sc um, I can't say Scottish words because I ain't Scottish and this is my f this is my first time being in Scotland, so treat me with respect. <laughs> it's my first time being in Scotland. And I hope to visit and I hope to come back to Scotland in the future. That is not an 800, that is a 385. That looked like an 800. It's a class 385. Quick, I need to get it. Where's your 385 arriving in? I'm gonna be quick at getting it. It's windy and cold. I wanna get back in the shelter. Where's your 385? Oh, it looks like a pair up. Yeah, it's a pair up of them. I think that's a, yeah, it's 385. The rear one's 385, 106, and the front one's 108. 108 and 106. Ooh, first class. Scott Rail Express. I think it's a Scott Rail Express service. Oh my god, it's so, it's pouring down. Okay, I need to get back in the shelter, guys. Hello, I see you waving. Hello, you want to be on the video, do you? <laughs> right. So far, I've been here about half an hour and it's been amazing. Took off NHST, a bit of a variety of trains, and a few friendly people. So far, my visit to Edinburgh is pleasant apart from the weather. But first time in Scotland, I hope to visit here again in the future. Maybe even go further up north to like Aberdeen or maybe even Inverness one day, probably when I'm an adult. That. Cause that's like the highest you can go in the country. Highest north you can go, to be honest. Unless it's Lerwick, but that's on the west coast, I believe. Or if it's Inverness, I think it's in the middle. Or the east coast. I could be wrong. Oh, it's that. This one. This one seventeen one five eight are going on a service. Departing off platform 15, I believe. Oh, hang on. What platform's that? I don't think that's 15. Two coaches. Two coaches. All right, it's not this then. It's definitely not this. Because literally, look. This one's formed of one, two, three, five coaches. I guess that 158 is not part of the service and it'll like detach, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it is, because if it wasn't, if it, if it wasn't part of the service, it'd probably have a not to be moved or wouldn't be coupled to it. It'd probably have the not to be moved sign. We'll make your journey more comfortable with redesigned interiors and new seating from winter 2020. Well, you now. Scott Rail. <laughs> I'm not trying to judge you, but it's just a Scottish accent. I like it. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.